Thanks, Steve. As we creep closer to the triple digits outside, there could be record high temperatures this week. Karen Lear joins us with the story that's heating up. That's right. The Weather Service predicts temperatures will peak between 105 and 110 degrees in the valley. I talked to people out enjoying the sun today to see how they plan to beat the heat. It's terrible. <laughs> I think it's way too early in the year for triple digits. It's just overwhelming. I don't know. I suppose we'll spend a lot of time in water. <laughs> Sunscreen splashing and plenty of shade seem to be on everyone's minds as temperatures across the Treasure Valley continue to climb. I think it's going to be really hot and I don't want to get hot. The scorching sun isn't stopping people from enjoying the outdoors yet, but they are taking extra precautions. Oh, we just bring lots of water, make sure they stay hydrated, make sure we drink lots of water, and I'm going to try and stay indoors as much as I can this weekend. Next Saturday is going to be 104 degrees, so I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. <laughs> Jay Breidenbach from the National Weather Service in Boise warns people not to leave children or animals in parked cars. Even with the windows cracked, temperatures inside the car can quickly skyrocket to more than 150 degrees, resulting in dozens of deaths each year. We can only hope there's an end in sight. Hopefully it won't last too long. The 90s, 80s is great. Hopefully this will be the end of the triple digits for the summer. We'll get it over early. For now, the Treasure Valley will be doing anything but treasuring cool temperatures anytime soon. Boise is no stranger to heat waves. In 2003, the temperature reached more than 100 degrees for nine consecutive days. Live in studio, Karen Laird, today six on your side.